and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video we're going to show how we can create a dial using an angular transform drive that rotates around when we rotate our wrist. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. And as usual we're in a sample scene with our game objects already set up. I've got the dial container which is our containing game object that just contains this backing board and our simple dial and what we're going to do is turn this into an angular transform drive that when we actually rotate our wrist we control the dial rather than having to grab it and move it in a rotating fashion so to start with let's turn our dial into an angular transform drive so window tilia interactions controllable creator select angular transform drive click convert it turns into the prefab we can then close the controllable creator down and now you can see we've got our angular transform drive set up we just need to change some of the drive facade settings to make this work how we want so the first thing we're going to do is change the drive axis to z axis so it's going down that forward direction of our game object and then we want our target value to start at the initial value so we're going to tick that and we're going to put it at zero so it starts at its zero value and then in our drive limits we're going to have a limit of minus 90 so it starts over to the left and then goes to about 50 degrees to the right so we'll put minus 90 and 50 and now what we want to do as well is just make sure that our rotations are correct because this was already rotated when we added it it's got the rotations a little bit wrong so we can fix this quite easily if i just set this back to zero and then we go into the interactable facade container and we go show mesh if we look on the mesh and look on the dial we're just going to reset these rotations as well so that's going to be zero and the y will be zero now what i actually want to do is rotate my dial by 90 degrees and then i want to go up to the angular transform drive and rotate that by 180 degrees around the y and this will make sure it feels the right direction when i'm controlling it because this is actually facing me not facing towards the forward of the world now the next thing we need to do is make sure we update the interactable because by default a rotational drive will allow you to rotate something by grabbing it and actually physically moving it but what we want this to do is track the rotation of our wrist so to do that if we go into the interactions interactable and then if we look at the primary action settings we can see it's default set to follow tracking the follow transform position difference rotate we actually want to use the follow rotate around angular velocity so we'll select that and then we need to make sure we set our source multiplier to how much we want it to follow our controller as we rotate our wrist so at 0.5 you'll need to move your controller at twice the speed to get it to go to the rotation of one times round if we just set it to one it'll follow us on a one-to-one -one mapping so we're just going to change this to one for now and then most importantly we need to make sure we set our grab offset to none if you leave it on precision point it won't rotate around the axis correctly and that's it we've set up our interactable facade now the last thing i want to do is on this game object when i actually rotate it and i let go i don't want there to be any velocity being applied so i can easily do that if i go to the angular transform drives internal game object look at the velocity applier if i click that it'll take me down to the velocity tracker that's dealing with that velocity if i select that this artificial velocity applier is what's applying that velocity if i untick that that means no artificial velocity will now be applied so there we go we've set one up what i'm going to do is collapse this up copy it and then i'm going to move one to the right and i'm going to have one to the left and on this right one what i'm going to do is set up a step range so we're going to have eight steps go from zero to seven and we'll do snap to step on release and what that will do now the one on the left will be a completely free moving dial so i'll be able to drop it in any of those locations whereas the one on the right will only snap between one and eight distinct locations so that's it it's all set up we can jump into the scene and see that working so we're in the scene and we can see our two dials have set up the one on the left is the free movement one where when we grab it and we rotate our control around wherever we move it to it's nice and smooth and we can release it in a precise position and then we've got the one on the right which is the one that's got the snap to step release on so we have the eight step values around there and we can see as i release it it will snap to one of those specific values where we let it go and there we go we've set up two dials that work as we rotate our controller around our wrist i hope this video has been useful to you if it has please consider subscribing to the youtube channel leave any likes dislikes comments down below please consider becoming a vrtk patron and i'll see you for the next video thanks for watching and bye for now